Hello and welcome to Hixie Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this gatefold card. And we're using this uh, die set from Sue Wilson from Creative Expressions. It's called the Floral Panels Buttercup. And this is what you get in the pack. Um, there are uh, some inspiration cards inside if you want to have a look at those. Um, uh, what we get is this you get two different panels so we get uh, we get a piece of paper this one is uh the buttercups and then you get this foliage one they are both beautiful the only thing to a word of caution when you're cutting this one the only where is this it touches here and here 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 uh, at several points this die literally only touches the edge here and here so be quite careful um, because I know I've I've broken a few bits off as I've gone. Just just be a little bit um, uh, aware of that. They both have um, they're the same die, but uh, they both come with uh, a, an outer edge. Okay, and then there are two different decorative edges. Okay, like so. Plus these teeny tiny weeny little butterfly which we are going to use in this card put that back so i don't lose it there are all sorts of ways you can cut these so you could just cut in like this uh, and then use these two like a border and i've done something similar on a different video where i've made uh, a box where i've cut into the box and used these as a uh, an, an outer you can uh cut with uh the, this bit and this outer so it gives you a wider border you can um cut just these mats you cut just these there's all sorts of combinations so there are two other videos on the channel uh have a look and i've used the, the dies in slightly different combinations so for our gatefold the way i have used this i have i haven't used this outer i've got that one on a, a different card a fold back card if you have a look for that so we're using this and we're going to cut this as a mat. I'll show you. I've got one cut already. So we're just cutting that as a lovely decorative mat. And even if you weren't using the panels, that's a really nice kind of mat to use. You can use it vertical, horizontal. So we're using that. And then we are using both of the panels with these, these inner. And they create a small border around. Uh, and then we're going to stick these onto these panels. That's all this is. Okay, that, there's nothing more more complicated than that. So, um, uh, we'll do the we'll do the die cutting first, and we'll we'll score the card uh, in a moment. So, I have, um, I have, I have, I have, indeed, I have, I have a piece of um, the pattern paper to cut this one from. So I'm just going to um. I'm not going to cut them all at the same time. Okay, so I want to, to try and make sure that I place them so that they'll cut. So I'm going to cut this one first. My um, plate and place that on. Place it at an angle and run that through the machine. So then I've got now this. This bit of card here is the bit that I cut off my A4 sheet to create my base card. So don't throw that away because that is the perfect size for creating these, these little bits. Okay, so let's have a look. It looks like it's cut out fine. Put that to one side for the minute, just clean off the bit. Okay, and turn my plate. Right, so I'm going to make sure I give myself enough to do both. So check roughly in the middle there. Okay. And we're going to do these one at a time as well. I could put them all on um, one uh, and then maybe have to run it through a couple of times. Uh, let's put it here, I think. Well, now I've got a little bit of a, a blind spot, if you like, there. So I'm just trying to avoid that for the moment. Um, so, make 
sure it's on the card. I want to try and get as even a border as I can. Um, so I'm just faffing here. Faffing away. Lovely. There. And there. I've got a bit of paper caught under that one. That. Right, so let's run that one through. And then we'll do similar with it. First of all, though, we're going to check that this has cut. Let's gently take the tape off. Okay, that this is cut. Hmm. I am going to have another go with that one because I think there's a couple of little blind spots on there. I think it it's the board. My board is starting to my board, my cutting mat is starting to bow a little bit. It has little areas where it's like it's even when it's compressing, it's not quite touching. So but what I don't want to do is to add in more pressure than I need to. So let's see how this one's gone. Ooh. Yeah, now that looks like it's cut, no problem. So we'll put that to one side and then we're going to do this one over. And if I place the die face down. Otherwise, it's not going to cut at all. Right, let's get some tape. Oh. So as soon as I get it in the right place, I can tape it. Otherwise, I'll be like, oh, and then I move it. No. Okay, and we'll cut that one. Take off from this. Okay, sorry, I went very quiet there for a moment. I was just having a look at that one. See if this has oh no, we've got a little bit of a spot here. So it looks to me like I'm gonna need some new glue. This one has got a little bit temperamental. I could stick shim in, I could um oh, I can, I will you know I can stick a shim in or um card something like that to prolong this uh, the life of the plate. I don't really want to be adding a huge amount of pressure in. I if I've caught it on that one. Still haven't caught it. Let's have a think. I'm going to put it there and I'm going to get, I'm going to have a piece of paper. And I'm going to just put over that bit and we'll see how we go. I'm sure all of you at home, you know exactly what, what I'm going through here. It happens all the time. Um, particularly when your plates start to get a little bit, um, you know, over, not overused, but well worn. There we go. Heard it cut that time. Yay. Yeah. What it needed? A bit of paper. What it needed. Right. Okay. So. Loads of mess today. Loads of mess. I'll get rid of all the bits we no longer need. So those bits of tape I think will go in the bin. Right, I'm gonna I'm going to have a look at that with you in a moment because um it is a tricky one, as I said at the beginning, it's only joined in a couple of places. That one we're done. And we've got the mat for that to go on. Let's get this one out. Out those few bits. 
That's our other mat. Let's put our dies away for the moment. And then we're going to have a, a, a look at removing this one. I'm going to do it carefully because, as I said at the beginning, it's only literally joined at two points, um, which makes it a little fragile when you are coming to uh, remove it from the die. So, so it's joined here. Get hold of it. It's joined here and it's joined down here. But in between, you've got lots of really, or it's come out quite nicely, lots of really delicate bits. It's actually cut really nicely this time. But look, see, I'm now caught here. And what I want to do is be very careful as to how I remove it. So let's get my bit of paper back in and I can show you. It literally is joined there. And here. Oh, that bit isn't. It looks like it is, but it isn't. So all in the middle is completely free. Now, what that does make it good for is for snipping out and using as foliage on other things. So um, it has uh, a good dual purpose there, but just be careful when you're using it, and um, particularly with this thinner inner um, sort of dye, matte dye. So, We've got those ready for the front of our gatefold card. So I have a piece of card. I have cut it to 11 and a half. So it's just a little tiny slither off of an A4 by six and a quarter. And this bit that you cut off here, that's the bit you use to cut those from. There's, there's plenty uh, there. And we're going to score it at two and seven eighths from each end so two uh two and seven eighths from that end and i'm going to turn it around and two that is two and seven eighths isn't it? no that's one and seven eighths two and seven eighths phew that was close two and seven eighths from that end leg still and then we're going to get our and fold it and burnish those. There we go. Lovely gate. Okay, so I have a piece of. Uh, so I was using a double-sided paper, so I'm going to put the other, the other side, uh, in the middle of the card, and that is where you could, uh, you could put um, a piece of white card uh, to be able to write your message on, or you could put um, another sentiment uh, in the middle. So, oops, gone up a bit high there. So there's our piece in the middle. And then we're going to stick this on one side. Like so. And, oh, 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 come on, come on. This on the other side here, and then um, I'm gonna just for quickness, I'm gonna be naughty and just use my thick glue. Oh, I'm gonna have to use the thin one on the other one because um, there is just no way with all the um, all the fine little leaves. I'm going to be able to do much with this one. So let's stick this on there. Take the paper and press that down. Right. So this one, we need to get out the uh, fine glue tip and. Get some glue on. I'm literally dotting it on the leaves. All the way 
down and it will move because I could, it's not joined as I said several times except at the top and the bottom so it's going to want to move a little bit and then I'm just going to down this central stem put some dots as well and then I'm just going to use my way <laughs> I did that when I was prepping as well put it down it rolled across all through the glue I obviously didn't learn my lesson there did I okay and then this will go on this side Right. Oh. Okay, now I have a sentiment. This is uh, Julie Lee Hickey's Everyday Sentiment Stamps. Um, but I realised when I came to start the demo that I forgot to I forgot to make a little bow for this one. So um, I'm going to position that slightly differently. Um, so we're just going to have a play because I've got some. Um, I've got more butterflies that we can have a go with and I've got the um the little uh, pearls. So um I'm putting pearls, in fact I'll use this one, pearls on the middle here and pearls on the middle here. Uh, oh there it is. I'm just looking for my wax pencil. So Throw them all over the place. Right, so all I've done is I put, put one in the middle, and although you can see all the glue at the moment, this is uh dry clear glue, so it will um it will disappear. Uh and then you want another six uh of these particular flat back pearls to go around the outside to make like a little centre. Uh, oh, these are not wanting to sit round, are they? And again, same here, one in the middle, and then six around the center. Oh. What do I need? Two or oh, one more, one more. Okay. Um all right, what have I got? I've got three three left. I don't know whether to put them on there or whether to just go in more butterflies. Right, let's get the butterflies out. So I used that tiny, tiny weeny little guy. And I've got a little little small hand crank machine at home that is perfect for, for cutting this kind of thing out. So let's see what we've got. How many have we got? How many? Right, so we want oh, oh, to have one on the flower here, one on the flower here, one on the flower here, put one up on this and one up here. Let's put those ones on, which are the ones that I had on the other card. And again, the glue will dry clear, so I'm not too worried that I have kind of Looks like I splodged it on a little. Oof. Let's go straight. And this one up here. Okay, now, like I said, I've forgotten my lovely bow. So what have I got? Those are, I've got one more butterfly, which we can put up here. I think we'll just go with that. I think that will be fine. Fine and dandy that. I don't think we need to put any more pearls on any. Oh, stay on. Like so. So, just a very slightly, very slightly different version of um, the card. So, like I said, this one had a bow. And this one, we've just used an extra butterfly. So, yeah, two, two different alternatives. So, we've used... Um, 
this lovely die set from uh, Sue Wilson, the Floral Panels Buttercup. Um, and there are two other videos, one for a box and one for a fold back card using this die set on the channel. So be sure to have a look at those as well. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.